and welcome to Wednesday Devotions from First United Methodist Church in Mount Gilead, North Carolina. Uh, I have one announcement I'd like to make before we get started with the devotion. Uh, we are having Bible school here on uh, Friday night and Saturday uh, during the early part of the day on Saturday, July 30th and 31st for any child age 2 through 12. Um, we're going to have on Friday night, there will be a, a supper for the family of, of the children, the students, and their families uh, come for supper, and we'll have our beginning session uh, to get started, a kickoff for Bible school, and then the Bible school will next, start the next morning uh, at 10 o'clock uh, and go till about 1.30. So we're looking forward to a big time. I uh, hope everything will go well, and that's at 6 o'clock, and you can register, you can call the church and register, or you can register the night that you come on the 30th, and that's at 6 o'clock in our fellowship hall here at the church. Um, we'd also like anybody in this area who would like to come and uh, visit a church service with us. Uh, we currently have three services a Sunday, so there's plenty to choose from. There's an early morning service that starts at 8.30 in the morning at Lakeside uh, at, at uh, Woodrun Artillery. Um, we have a good service there with great music and, and uh, it's an enjoyable time. And then at 9.30, there's a service at Zion United Methodist Church. They meet outside, weather permitting. At 11 o'clock is our service here at First United Methodist, and we would be glad for you to come and uh, attend any of these and, and join us. We would, we would love to have you. Today's devotion comes from the upper room and it's entitled, I Am, I Will. The scripture is Isaiah 41, 1 through 14, but the selected verse that we're going to read today is Isaiah 42, 10. And that is, do not fear, for I am with you. Do not be dismayed, for I am your God. I will strengthen you and help you. I will uphold you with my righteous right hand. The author of today's lesson is Rebecca Wisnett, uh, and she says she was alone in the hospital room. She was waiting word from the nurse of how her mother's surgery was going to be. Her life, as well as, as ours, she said, was undergoing major changes. Before she came home, she would need uh, uh, to build a ramp, move furniture, buy a wheelchair, schedule therapy appointments. The list was just endless. She would also have to learn to walk again. The list seemed endless and I felt helpless. I, wanted, I walked back and forth repeating the words above from Isaiah. Turning to these I am and I will statements from Isaiah reminded me that I could rely on God. I did not need to be anxious about the outcome. I did not have to know how it would all work out. God would give me the strength and the help that I needed. God's righteous hand would uphold us all during these days. Though many years have passed since that day, these words often come to me in times of distress. Those repetitions over and over in a hospital room have forever etched the words on my heart. God's truth, I am, I will. God's word is true and powerful. When we study and memorize scripture, it will always be present to help us remember and then find peace in God's promise to be present with us, especially in times of crisis. We'd also, um, I wanted to remind you that, that I had a, a good friend and a former pastor who once said, if you see something repeated over and over again in scripture, that is something that's true and, and can be counted on in all, in all areas. And so when I looked up in the subject, uh, index subject in my new international version of my Bible, the word presence is found 33 times throughout the scripture and strength or strengthen or strengthened is found numerous times as well. For instance, when Moses uh, was on the mountaintop with the glory of God, the Lord told Moses, my presence will go with you. I will give you rest. That's Exodus 33, 14. Second Samuel 22, 23 says, It is God who arms me with strength and makes my way perfect. David said in Psalms 29, 11, The Lord gives strength to his people. The Lord blesses his people with peace. In selected verses of Psalm 84, it's written, How lovely is your dwelling place, O Lord Almighty! O Lord Almighty, my King and my God, blessed are those who dwell in your house. They are ever praising you, Selah. Blessed are those whose strength is in you. They go from strength to strength, 
till each appears before God in Zion. O Lord Almighty, blessed is the man who trusts in you. Blessed are those who have learned to acclaim you, who walk in light of your presence, O Lord. They rejoice in your name all day long. They exult in your righteousness, for you are their glory and strength. So it's plain. You, this is just selected verses that I picked out that would really, I thought would go along with the lesson today. So it's plain that our God is who he says he is. He can be depended on to care for and about us. He provides for us and gives us peace and rest. As the final prayer is given, let us turn over the burdens we are carrying and let God strengthen us and give us peace. Let's pray. Dear God, thank you for your strength and your promise to be with us. Amen. Thank you for tuning in today. Go in peace and have a blessed day.